What is going on guys and girls? My mm. name is James Alfixia. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today it is time once again to jump back into the weird and wonderful world that is Bee Swarm Simulator fan made games. And today uh, we're going to be checking out a couple of different ones. I don't know which ones just yet. We'll try and pick some fancy looking ones. Uh, and yeah, we actually did this a couple of days ago. So we went and visited uh, this game here on the top row, this Bee Swarm Simulator Ideas World, and uh, people absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for the support on that video. Incidentally, um, I actually went back to the game after I finished recording that video to take some pictures for the thumbnail. Uh, and there's loads of crazy hidden areas in that game that we didn't see in the video. So if you guys would like to see me return to that one, uh, and show you guys all of these crazy hidden areas with even more custom stuff. Yeah, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys want to see that, then I'm happy to go back. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to be checking out a couple of different ones. Don't really know what to expect. I feel like we started off really, really strong with this one. Um, but yeah, which one should we pick? What about this one? Should we go with this one? This is Bee Swarm Simulator Leaks. Uh, this is by Trinity Fake. Okay, shall we, uh, shall we jump in? Yeah, why not? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So I can see what's happening in this world. Now, this is kind of interesting. I think this game is not so much custom ideas about stuff that people would like to see in the game. This is stuff that has essentially been kind of like leaked or teased by on it over the past, you know, like year or so. And these are kind of examples of these things in game. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of cool. We actually get to see some of the items. Whoa, this is, this is kind of interesting. How have people got these models? Dude, so yeah, this is the honey hammer. Now, the only time that we've seen the honey hammer so far is, um, basically on it has had, like, screenshots of him holding the honey hammer in, like, the test realm. Uh, I don't think anyone else has actually had to use it just yet. Um, but this thing kind of exists. I have no idea if and when it's ever coming. It might just be something that Onnit likes to play around with. <laughs> but it does look pretty cool. I gotta say. Okay, interesting. So, oh, Yeah, okay. Alright, this is mad. So, I, I swear people have sent me screenshots of this particular world. Uh, and a lot of these things are based 100% off fact. So, Onnit has talked about the Robo Bear previously. Um, so from what we can tell so far, it's basically going to be like a new type of zone or area in Bee Swarm, and the NPC in charge is going to be this dude, this Robo Bear. Now, the face of the Robo Bear did pop up in on its inventory, oh, it must have been like six, seven, eight months ago. Uh, but as of right now, we haven't really seen anything in the game based off it. But this is kind of what the Robo Bear looks like. I think we only just got to see the faces. Um, oh. Yeah, loads of people have sent me this picture as well. Now, to be honest with you, I haven't seen this in any of Onnit's official stuff, but I do actually think it's genuinely a really good idea. <laughs> so this is a gummy storm. So obviously you've got the honey storm, which spawns like a bunch of, of, of honey tokens, but obviously everyone always needs gumdrops, right? Gumdrops are amazing. They make glue. You can drop them for the gummy mask. Uh, you know, you can use them to get the gummy bee. And I would actually really love to see this. Oh, so maybe it was in his plans at some point. Huh. See, I have no idea how people even get this stuff. So this is like, um, I guess this is what the Bee Swarm script looks like. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go too deep into that. I don't think people are supposed to see that. But I guess at some point there was something called Gummy Storm. That's interesting. I think this is genuinely a really good idea. Oh, dude, okay. Um, so these are a few pictures of the Robo Challenge. Um, so I don't really know too much about what the Robo Challenge was supposed to look like. Uh, at some point, maybe it's going to come. But apparently, it's kind of like an amulet thing, maybe similar to uh, the Ad Challenge. And uh, yeah, this is kind of what some early screens look like. They look pretty cool. Uh, this is a Robo Pass. Interesting. Okay. And then, of course, we have the Memory Match. And yeah, Onnit was talking about potentially introducing a Supreme Star Amulet, uh, which we did talk about in the previous sort of update videos. Uh, that wasn't included in the latest update, but Onnit does think that potentially that might come at some point, and it's going to be very expensive, like 20 billion or something to generate one of these bad boys. Uh, and then 
we've just got a few examples as to what they would look like. And also, Onik did mention that he wanted to put an extra tier into the stick bug. Uh, so this is what the Supreme Stick Bug Amulet would look like. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, as I mentioned, these are kind of things that are pretty much in on its plans or have been at some point. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I, the thing that impresses me, I, I really want this to be a thing. I love the idea of a gummy storm. Okay, so just a couple of extra bits here. We've got this bad boy, the Robo Hopper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've seen pictures of this, like people who have sent me these. It's really weird because I've had so many pictures over the past like six months of just various bits and pieces. Uh, and I always kind of wonder like if they're like legit things or if people have found them from worlds like this. Uh, and like, I don't know everything about Beast Swarm, but I do know like a good amount about what is real and what isn't. But I have seen this pop up a lot of times. And if this is something to do with the Robo Bear Challenge, <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> it's like a giant aphid. I don't know, man. I really love it. I think it looks cool, though. And then over here, uh, which I guess is something that we have also seen being tested in the test realm, is this bad boy, the Cobalt Crimson Event B. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I've locked my cursor. Help. Which has definitely been in the test realm at one point. Um, so we did cover that in one of our um, sort of Beast Swarm update leaky type videos before the last update came out. And essentially this is a Cobalt and Crimson Fusion B. Um, and we don't know too much about it just yet other than that it looks pretty much exactly like this. And it, it looks kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. Very exciting. Oh, what are these? Oh. Okay, so these are fan models. All right, so this world does also contain some... Oh, the Windy Mask. Dude, that looks cool. Whoa, okay. So this is the Windy Mask. I really like that. The Vicious Mask. Oh, I actually really like these ones. Okay, what have we got here? We've got the Petal Boots. Whoa, dude. Some of this modeling looks so legit. Like, this looks like really good. <laughs> <laughs> the rocket parachute? Oh, why is this not in the game? This looks incredible. Dude. And then the tabby mask. Hey, okay. So I've got to say, these are fan-made models, but to be honest with you, they look really good. I'm impressed. I think my favorite one is the windy mask. That looks so cool. Okay, um, so yeah, I gotta say, there was some really cool stuff in that world, um, but there wasn't, like, as much as the previous one, so I guess what we'll do is, why don't we just go and visit, like, another one as well this episode? Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? There's a few here to choose from. I did try and click on this one last time. I was gonna do this one in the last episode, but I clicked on it and it didn't load up for me, um, so I picked that one instead, and that one was incredible. Um, what about this one? What is this? I can just see something weird in the background. This is B-Swarm Simulator Community Version. Okay. This is by KMJD. Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay, let's go and check this one out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so this is not B-Swarm Simulator. This is a showcase fan-made ideas for B. Okay, ooh. So this kind of looks like the legit map. Um, play. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we've got two areas. We've got ideas. And we've got map. Oh, okay. So maybe the ideas are just like straight up areas. And then the map, maybe they put them in the map. Maybe. Uh, should we go to ideas? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this. What is this? Warning, very laggy. Okay, so this is like a fan made 30B zone, I guess. Oh, it's dark. Oh, what is that thing up there? Do you see it? It's got, like, horns. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so what is this? Some kind of, like, weird glowing ghost bear or something? Interesting. And what is this? Okay, so there's, like, a light version and a dark version. There's some really weird... <gasps> it's a cow bee! Oh, my goodness. That actually legit looks amazing. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a big moo cow. The milky bee. Yes, let's make a milky bee. That sounds amazing. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so this actually has purple flowers, purple and yellow flowers in the field. Gotta say, I really like the purple flowers. Um, so this seems to be some kind of like daytime, nighttime fusion style thing. 
Uh, this bee up here looks really cool. Maybe we can find out the name of it at some point. Uh, but it's kind of got like sun and moon sort of vibes going on here. It's got like little stars on its face. Maybe it's like the starry bee or something. And then it kind of seems like they're sort of done in zones. So there's quite a few of these. Uh, we should definitely go and visit them. So this is... Oh, okay. So this is like a 20 bee zone style thing. Um... All right, so this would be like where the science bear is right now. There's nothing like currently behind him. Well, I guess technically kind of like the tunnel bear, but... Ooh, dude. <laughs> it's like a play area. Ooh, okay, this one looks super fancy. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks pink. What is this? Oh my goodness. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I love this one. Wow. Okay, so this is what, like, ice cream world or something? That's mad. That is mad. Look at this place. So I guess this would be kind of, like, ice cream based. I'm not too sure why ice cream, but it looks really cool. There's, like, an ice cream dispenser. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, and then I guess this is, like, an ice cream sandwich or something? Huh. I kind of like this one. This is, uh, this is really funky. So I think there's maybe like four more of these. Um, so we might as well take a quick look at them. So this is kind of like a custom built shop, uh, which looks really nice from the outside. Um, so, oh, oh, I see. So there'd be a new kind of bear here. Um, and there would be like, I guess, sort of maybe a way of purchasing special treats instead of like find them in the map or like harvesting them with sprouts. Um, so maybe this could, like, lead to some kind of... Oh! And there's, like, a special type of treat. It's kind of got sprinkles. <laughs> okay. All right, we've got a 20B zone here, which... Ah, okay. <laughs> I guess this is, like, uh, Christmas-themed. Um, so unfortunately, we've just passed our Christmas update, although technically it's still going on as of right now. We've got, Santa... <laughs> like, Santa Bear, I guess, uh, which is pretty funky. Uh, we've got... A star jelly dispenser. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I don't know how much that would cost, but it would probably be pretty pricey. And then over here, we've just got, like, two more random fields, I guess. Oh. But there's a secret. I, see, I saw it. I saw it. At first, I was like, huh, there's not very much in here. But if we go through the wall, ta-da! <laughs> there's a secret shop. Okay. So I guess this is, like, festive theme stuff. Uh, we've got some candy canes. We've got some Santa hats. Santa's, like, sack, I guess. I think the second to last zone is this uh, another 20B one as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is once again like those weird purple and yellow flowers. So two different new types of pollen. And it just seems like every type of field is all together in one. <laughs> got blue flower, you got pineapple, rose, spider, pine, cactus, uh, bamboo, clover, sunflower, dandelion, mushroom, strawberry, bumpkin. Huh. Interesting. Um, so we've got a few random bees here. Oh, I love this one. Oh, can we get a fancy bee? Can you imagine a fancy bee with like a little top hat and a monocle? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. And I think this is the final uh, little sort of build, I guess, for the ideas area. So it's pointing here. Oh. Okay. Woo. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's madness. Look at that. So this could be like a special, um, like, secret NPC zone um, or something. So it's kind of like the gummy bear lair, but just like a little bit different. Um, so we've got some custom bees here. Oh, it's a fancy bee. Yes, this is what I want. Fancy bee top hat. That would be amazing. We can only dream, right? Uh, okay, we've got a plunger head bee. <laughs> what is this? I guess this is like the uber special gummy mask pro type thing. And then you've got like a star bear or something. Dude, this place looks cool. Oh, okay. So I've just traveled into the, the, the world, which is the same one which we were just on. Uh, and my guess is, is that like those places that we just saw are probably like in the map from what it looks like. So... Yeah, I can see one of the areas up there, which I think was the... Oh, I can't remember now. Huh. <laughs> okay. So I've got to say, a few of those, like, little areas, they actually looked really, really cool. I don't know which one my favorite one was. I did quite like the ice cream one. Oh, yeah, look at this. 
So they are in the map. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode here today. Um, so there are actually a couple more of these worlds uh, in and around Roblox, uh, which if you guys would like to see me visit them, then I'm more than happy to do so. And also, Eevee, why are you barking? Apologies, is my little doge kicking off. Um, yeah, <laughs> so also if you guys want me to revisit the first world that we saw, there was so many random hidden zones that we didn't cover. Um, so yeah, please let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button, and if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Run, see ya.